Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the 2011 Hall of Fame induction ceremony for the University of Indianapolis. Our first inductee this evening is Susie Cruz Casar. Susie was an outstanding two-sport athlete at Indiana Central now University of Indianapolis from 1983 to 87. She starred on both the volleyball and softball team where she was a two-time MVP. She was also a two-time all-conference performer in volleyball and a one-time all-conference performer in softball. Susie received the Kelso M. Reed Medal Attitude Award in 1984 and Walter Brennan Memorial Sportsmanship Award in 1985 and 86. She graduated cum laude with a Bachelor of Science degree in elementary education in 1987. After graduation, she went on to teach second grade at Central Elementary in Beach Grove, where she was nominated for the Shining Star Award for Excellence in Teaching by WTHR and the Associated Group. She's also the proud mother of current student athlete football and basketball, and the young man sitting right over here, Paul Cassaro. <coughs> Congratulations to Susie Coons Cassaro. A 2011 University of Indianapolis Hall of Fame inductee. So you. I want to congratulate Ralph and Terry and the other honorees this evening. I'm really pleased to share this event with you. I want to thank Matt and his staff, Erica Riley and Erica Bell, and especially Katie and all the extra communication she spent with me over the past few months. Okay, for an FC grad. <laughs> I want to send a big thanks to my amazing brothers and sisters, brother and sister-in-law, nieces, nephews, their dates, my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, um, you know, and some really special friends that took time out of their busy lives to share the meeting with me. You guys are blessings in my life. I want to thank my family, and I'm going to make them stand up. Paul, who is a uh, Current student athlete, plays football and basketball here, studying communication. Nice win tonight for the basketball team. Uh, my daughter Casey, who's a junior from Collie High School, a member of the volleyball team. And my daughter Lindsay, who's in seventh grade at Holy Name School, and plays basketball. And I really want to thank my husband Greg, and he has to stand too. He's a great athlete and a student from the time I met him at age 16. Made me want to work harder and get better at everything I always did because of the example and standards he set for himself. Um, he's always been really supportive and probably a little biased when the subject of my athletic career comes up. Um, I think in all these years his only criticism will be that I really never could go left on the basketball court. <laughs> and he's right, I never mastered it. Um, but thank you for um, I'm surrounded by outstanding people. And I've been a member of a great team. Um, this began because of the family I was born into, and fortunate enough to, for the schools I attended, I, I've been blessed because of that, and then fortunate again because of the family I married into. But the moment I walked in this campus, I felt welcomed and cared for. I played volleyball and softball for Coach Willie, and she did care for her players. It was obvious. She made a point to recognize your family when they were in attendance and got to know you on a personal level. And she did the little extra things that as a young student athlete, I probably didn't show my full appreciation for. So I'm pleased to have the opportunity to thank her publicly tonight for the genuine concern and guidance she often gave me. So thank you. Another wonderful coach I had the opportunity to play for was Mr. Bill Bright. Um, he was the athletic director here, uh, but my last two years when Coach Willie went on sabbatical to begin work on her doctorate, um, he took over the softball coaching job. Um, he taught me so much about that sport that I didn't know before. And he could make the slightest adjustment to a stance or the release of a throw, and, and it made all the difference. Um, he saw things I never could have. And he ran a practice in a way you valued short, efficient practice times. Everybody was busy and on task, and no one was standing, waiting. Um, and I think I carried that with me as a teacher and as a volunteer coach. And, probably my kids disliking as a mom too um, but having him as a coach i really valued that because i got to know him on a personal level and appreciate his passion for this university the individual honors i received while i was here are a direct result of these two coaches i always felt they believed in me on days where i questioned my performance or ability they cared about me as an individual first and a student athlete second 
Their confidence in me made all the difference in my performance on the court, in the field, in, in the classroom. But all the coaches here, I think, were like that. I could go into the group building center any day, and the coach from the men's or women's program would always greet me. Oftentimes, it was Terry Weatherall just asking about my day or usually saying something that made me laugh. They made it easy for me to do well here. They always wanted what was best for me, so how could I not try my best for them? So thank you for honoring me with this induction to the Hall of Fame. I'm grateful and I'm humbled that I continue to be surrounded by great people and part of another great team. So thank you.